This morning involving a sinkhole that opened up overnight. Firefighters say that it swallowed up part of a home near Tampa. Now one person is missing. It's happening in Brandon in Hillsborough County. Let's choose Marina Morocco is there. And Marina, what can you tell us? Well, Merritt is still no sign of that 36 year old here on Faithway Drive. And unfortunately, according to family members, the faith here is really starting to dwindle and take a look at that house because from outside you can see it looks pretty much intact. Inside is where the issue is completely crumbled floor in there, no more floor. And take a look at the home from a few hours ago that we shot because it looked just the same. This all happened at about 11 p.m., just as everyone inside the house was getting ready to go to bed. We spoke with one of the adults inside the home. She was very distraught and did not want to appear on camera. She says she cannot get the screams out of her head. It sounded like a car hit the house and he started screaming. They heard someone yell out for their brother. The brother ran into the room and he said when he got into the room what he found was just a hole, a sand hole. He said a part of a mattress was sticking up but everything else in the room was gone. Now, the family has lived here since the 70s, and according to Hillsborough Fire Rescue, the home was inspected back in August. Back then, no signs of a sinkhole, no signs of damages, nor cracks on that home. They measured this earlier, and they said last report, 100 feet wide, 100 feet deep, this sinkhole here, and rescue attempts have been suspended because it's been deemed unsafe as this house was condemned earlier this morning by an engineering firm on an emergency basis. The neighbors on either side of the home have been evacuated, and now deputies are back on scene hoping to recover this person inside that sinkhole. For now, reporting live in Hillsborough County, Marina Morocco, West. It sounded like a car crash. The floors of two bedrooms in this house swallowed in an instant. Jeffrey Bush had been asleep in one of those rooms. His brother Jimmy sprinted in trying to save him. And all I see was the tops of his bed. I didn't see nothing else. So I jumped in the hole and tried digging him out. And I couldn't get him. All I could hear was, I thought I could hear him screaming for me and hollering for me to help him. I couldn't do nothing. The hole inside this house kept expanding around him. He swallowed his whole bed, his dresser, everything in his room was gone. There ain't nothing in his room there at all, no more. Hillsborough deputy Douglas Duvall burst into the house. He saw Jimmy, the intended rescuer, struggling himself in the sliding sand. Duvall put his own life on the line to pull Jimmy out keep him from becoming a second victim. The cop snatched me out of the hole. He told me I couldn't be in there. I was The, the hole was still caving in. And I, I didn't care. I, I was one of my brother, man. This family says it's owned the home since it was built 40 years ago. And they've never seen a single sign of a sinkhole. He was a good guy, man. He was a hard worker. I'm just sorry to see that he's gone. I just want my brother. That's all I want. So tough to hear that. You can see how this area has just been descended on by engineers with the sun coming up. They are staking out different areas, trying to establish a perimeter. They're going to use techniques to try to figure out the real size of the sinkhole. Again, it's so strange because it's all contained in the house. You don't even see tilting walls or cracks anywhere. It's very surreal. But they tell us that the visible area inside the house is maybe 30 feet across. The sinkhole itself, the shifting sand, goes out, they think, about 100 feet across altogether, maybe 50 feet down or so. It's early estimates. These folks are really going to try and hammer that down and nail that down. It's just so difficult to talk to the family members. You've been talking with them all morning. Um, it, it really is just gut wrenching when you talk to them. And just a short while ago, the mother of the man who is still trapped in that sinkhole arrived on scene. And we're respecting her wishes not to be on camera or to even be interviewed. But you could see her offside there. She is just sobbing and miserable. And our, our hearts are really just hurting for her as well. And the only thing we know is they've sent listening devices and cameras down into that sinkhole and since last night at around 11 o'clock they have not heard any sounds of anyone alive.